Today we're going to talk about the startup options and some of the ways you can leverage the startup options to make your application look a little bit more professional and also to protect some of the things that you have in the background, uh, be it tables or queries or modules or whatever you have. Now, when I open up an application here or a database, I'll open this up and if I'm a user of this database, I don't know where to start. I have no idea which form I should start in and also I have access to all this stuff here. So how can we solve this problem? Well, the answer is the startup options. If I go to the tools menu and go to startup, it opens up a dialog box and I have several options here. The first one being application title. Now, up on, on the uh, lower upper left hand corner of your database, you'll see Microsoft Access. You can actually replace that with a title, and I'll replace it here with my application. Okay, and if I press OK, you'll notice that my application is up here now. Now I can go back to the startup options and also replace an application icon. So you see, Access is uh, the key, the, the familiar key icon here. I can go ahead and select a particular icon, the icon that I'm my, my choosing, and I'll choose my icon here, and press OK. And you'll notice now that my icon is not only in the uh, upper left-hand corner here, but it's also in the task bar also. So that's replaced. Now I can. Um, specify a particular menu bar. I don't necessarily have a menu bar created here and we'll talk about creating a menu bar in another uh, video but if I did have a menu bar I can actually select it and make that the default menu bar. And then I have some options about the menu so uh, I'm gonna un I usually try to uh, unclick the full menus uh, and I unclick all these other things and I allow my users uh, normally uh, default shortcut menus which gives them some basic commands for this application. And then finally it asks me which form I want to display first. So I'm going to go ahead and display my main form first and that basically allows me to display uh, the form or allows me to guide the users to the first form I want them to go to uh, in order to start the flow of the program. And then finally uh, display database window I can either check that on or off. I want to go ahead and check it off. The database window is this window right here that you look at normally when you uh, open up Access. I'm going to go ahead and disable that to ensure that the, uh, the users don't see that window. And I'm going to press OK. And if I close out this application now and try to open it up again, you'll notice that all I see now is my main form. Now I can guide my users through my application with these command buttons instead of letting them roam around to whichever form they want. Now, let's say that you're the developer though and you need to get into the background. How do you go in, into the background now if, if uh, when you double click the application or the database, uh, all you get is this? Well, the answer is the shift key. The shift key is the bypass key. Uh, and you're not going to be able to see this on, on the video, but I'm holding down the shift key as I'm opening it. If you hold down the shift key as you open up your database that has a startup option set to a form, you'll actually get to the background, and then you'll have all the uh, menus here for the startup, and you can change the startup options again. 